One more time so you can see how terrible it is. And this is the first time starting it up today. I think this motor I picked up about two weeks ago. I've had it running going okay with that whole tank of gas. Bit of a miss, but I thought, oh, just running it in, so it's probably expected. Then I put another half tank of fuel in it and uh, started up. It was going like it was going. The little misfire hadn't cleared up, but it was still still all right and now it a run stop an hour and then it'll stop sometimes it'll run for half an hour and stop yeah just not good and this and this is it this morning even worse Turn the choke on, as you just saw, start it up, and then it's over fueling, so I'll turn the choke off, but there's no fuel there. And that's what it just keeps doing. Blimmin' thing. Brand new engine. It's a brand new motor. It's only like two weeks old. I've undone the fuel bulb, take, taken this off, I've taken that off, checked it, it, had, it was clean. I've undone this little thing for the catchment, particle catchment thing I believe. That was clean, put that back on, both had fuel. Today it just doesn't want to go. So I decided I won't be sending it back to claim on the warranty, I'll just fix it up myself. Anyway, this is the spark plug, I just took it out. Now it looks like it's burning rich and too much fuel. Anyway, I've just stuck a screwdriver in the pipe there. Slide that off. And that's what we've got. Yeah, I can't see the see any kind of mixture screw on it to adjust the fuel. Yellow engine's carburetor and this one here is a DEC 200 off a, another motor. Pretty much look the same when you look at them from the outside and everything like that. And these two carburetors would, would fit from one to the other. Now, Inco motor however you want to pronounce it doesn't have a fuel mixture screw just where I'm pointing and the DEC 200 turn it a bit more just there mixture screw Inco doesn't have it and the DEC 200 does I would put this carburetor here straight on, but the tail is broken off down here, so the fuel bulb can't be screwed back on. Whether on the new 
motor's carburetor, as you can see, it's still sticking down. This one broke off from being over tightened. So be careful with that. So that's the Inco's carburetor and some writing for you. And here is the Deck 200 carburetor and some dirty writing for you. But this carburetor will go on that engine and that carburetor will go on that one's engine. But yeah, frustration. Mixture screw, no mixture screw. Yeah. See down there. Right, let's give it a pull, see if it starts up and see if it runs good now. Good now. Right, so if you ever buy one of these engines, stationary motor, that brand, Inco, I think it's called, um, just make sure you pick up a spare spark plug because I, I think after your first tank of petrol or tank and a half, somewhere around about there, it's going to start running like crap. And uh, just change that plug for a new one before you do anything. Also, this little uh, catchment here threads on up into there and does um, be very gentle with that when you're tightening it back up. So and only tighten it up till it stops leaking out any petrol, otherwise. This thread in here is just going to strip. Very fragile. 